In the 2311 release of SAP Enable Now, new functionality is being added to allow you to selectively display content to certain users. That functionality is due for release on November 24th, 2023, but we're going to take a quick preview of it here. I'm running this out of the preview client, but it will be the same when it goes into production at the end of this month. So I'm going to demonstrate this by way of a simple example. I've got a book that I've created here and I've got two slides within it. One of these slides I want to be visible to everyone. That's this general consumption slide, which looks like this. And I've got a second slide, which I only want managers to be able to see. And that looks like this. Now, the way that this is achieved is by using business roles. These are different from other roles that are defined in SAP Enable Now that control the ability to do things in Enable Now, like the learner's role or the standard author role, etc. Interestingly, the way that this has been set up to work, you can only match one business role to one SAP Enable Now role. So I'm going to make sure that I've got both of those set up. If I go to roles, which is now actually called user roles on the administration menu, I have a couple of roles in here that I'm going to use. I have the learner's role and I have a manager role. Now, the way I've got these set up to try and keep things simple is the manager role is actually assigned to the learner's role. This means that anyone that's given the manager role inherits the learner's role and all of the permissions there. That means that I don't need to define separate permissions for manager. So I've got these two roles set up, learners and manager. Now what I need to do is go and define the business roles for those. This is the new functionality, business roles, also on the administration menu. Now again, you can only really create one business role for one user role. So I go to the add button, I'll see all of my user roles listed, and it's effectively asking which ones of these do you want to create business roles for? And I want to create business roles for learners and for manager. So I'll select those two, click apply, I now have those. It gives the business role the same name as the user role. I can change that if I want to. Say I want to put on the end of their BR just so that we can see what we're using here. So that's a manager business role and the learner's business role, just so we can see what we're looking at here because it will get confusing. So I have these two roles set up. The next thing to do is assign the content to these particular business roles. So there I'm going to go back to my work area and look at my content. And for the book, this is where I'm going to start assigning stuff to specific business roles. And this at the moment can only be done in manager, maybe coming to producer later, but at the moment it's manager. And here I have a new tab of audience. And if I select that, this is basically asking who's allowed to see this. And if I have nothing in here, it's effectively as current, any learner or anyone else can see all of this content. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new assignment. And I'm going to say the learners, and you can see here, this is the learner's business role, not the user role. I'm going to say that only people that have the learner's business role, which is actually attached to the learner's user role, is able to see this content. Okay, so I'll select that. That creates a new assignment for me. Now, this is inherited through all of its content. So if I go to my general consumption slide, I can see here that this effectively has an audience of learner's business role as well because it's been inherited from here. It always shows you where it's been inherited from because this book page could appear in multiple places and those different places could have different permissions. So that's my general consumption slide, learner's business role, which is what I want. The for manager's eyes only also inherits that same thing, but I don't want this. I want to change it to be just the manager's business role. So I'll go into create assignment and immediately it says, hey, there's already an assignment for this. Do you want to inherit that still and specify a new business role on top of that? Or do you want to replace the existing inherited assignments with a new assignment? And what I want to do is reject the inherited ones and put a new one on there. So I'll click do not include that wipes out anything that's selected and I'm going to put manager business role on there. So now I have here that the audience for for manager's eyes only is manager business role. This one here, the general one is still learner's business role and the book itself is learner's business role. So that's now all set up the way I want it. 
So I'm going to play this back as a particular user so we can see that whether it makes a difference. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of the published URL for this book so that I can display that in a minute because I know I'm going to need that. So I'm just going to take the start link, making sure I get the published version of that, copy it to the clipboard. Now, let's go and look at our users. Here I have a user called John Doe and he has the learner's role. So he should only see that very first page in my book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to display the content as John Doe because I've got manual IDs on here as I'm switching between them and I don't have a single sign on. I'm going to have to log off from my admin ID and I'm going to log on as John Doe. So you can see I'm now logged on to John Doe. I have just the learner's view in here. And now if I go and display that content, I see that this book that I've displayed, I'm displaying a book here. This book has only one slide in it, and that's the one I'm looking at. This is the general consumption slide. It doesn't even indicate that there is another page, but I'm not authorized to see it. It just says, hey, there's only one page for you in this book. So that's all I see. So this is working. I don't see that second slide for managers only. So now let's go back and we will change the role that's assigned to John Doe. So again, I need to log off as John Doe, log in on my admin ID, and then I can change John Doe's role. And I'm just going to give him the manager role. I'm going to take off learners and replace it with manager. Remember, manager is already assigned to learners, so it will inherit all of those permissions as well. And that carries through from the user roles to the business roles as well. Important to remember that. So now John Doe has the manager user role, which is tied to the manager business role, so he should see that second page. So again, I'm going to log off from my admin ID, log on as John Doe, and I'm going to play that book again. And now I see that there are two pages in this book. I see the general consumption slide, which is only assigned to learners, but again, managers is inheriting the learners' assignments and permissions, and I also have my second page for manager's eyes only because as John Doe, I now have the manager role assigned to me. And that's the functionality. Again, I'm not sure the implementation is perfect given that you can only have one business role assigned to one user role. I would like to be able to have, for example, learners as a user role and then have multiple business roles assigned to that so I can control the content but still use the authorization of learners. But this way, the way I have it at the moment, does work, especially if you define new user roles that are already assigned to the base role. So that's the functionality coming in a couple of weeks' time. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe.